In 1970, at the World Expo in Japan, a short film called Tiger Child was shown to the public. This was the first film ever screened in IMAX. Over the next several decades, IMAX continued to produce several documentaries. These documentaries were shown in the few IMAX theaters that existed. In the year 2000, Disney released their film, Fantasia 2000, in IMAX, becoming the first feature film to do so. Over the next several decades, Hollywood continued to release more and more movies in this premium format. But what's the difference between IMAX and standard cinema? Well, let's take a look. We'll start with how IMAX movies are shot. Traditionally, IMAX is filmed using IMAX film cameras, using 65mm film loaded horizontally. Most other film cameras use film that is loaded vertically. Loading the film horizontally allows IMAX cameras to capture a larger image. IMAX film is 15 perforations wide and 65mm high, and it has a theoretical resolution around 18K. Traditional 65mm film is 65mm wide and 5 perforations high, and it has a theoretical resolution of approximately 12K. Both versions are projected on 70mm film, the extra millimeters being used for sound. 35mm film, which is the most common film format, is 35mm across and 4 perforations high. Its theoretical resolution is about 5K. As you can tell, IMAX film is significantly larger with a much higher theoretical resolution. Digital IMAX is different. It's shot using various IMAX approved high resolution digital cameras. These cameras typically have a resolution of 6 to 8K and their sensor size, which is the digital equivalent of film, are usually around the size of traditional 70mm film. As you can tell, this still doesn't quite compare to movies shot using IMAX film cameras. As of the release of this video, no feature film has been entirely shot using IMAX film cameras. This is due to their many technical limitations, including size and loud operating noise which makes it difficult to record good audio. These cameras are instead used to film select scenes, with other cameras used to shoot the rest. These can be any type of camera, from 70mm film to a digital cinema camera. It's important to note that some movies shown in IMAX theaters aren't shot on IMAX film cameras or even IMAX approved digital cameras. They're instead shot on 35mm film or a digital equivalent, and then enhanced for an IMAX screen. And this brings us to the next part of our video which is the actual screen that IMAX is being projected on. IMAX was originally shown on screens with a 1.43 by 1 aspect ratio. These screens were typically much larger than the ones in your average cinema. The movies were also projected using the 70mm 15 perforation IMAX film. In the 2000s, as IMAX slowly became more popular, they began to install IMAX screens with digital projection. These screens had an aspect ratio of 1.9 by 1 and were often not much larger than the other screens in the same multiplex theater. The movie would be projected using double 2K projectors, which fell short of the much higher resolution of IMAX film. This version of IMAX is often referred to as LIMAX, since it has the same branding but not the same quality. In 2012, IMAX came out with 4K laser projection. It used two 4K laser projectors that could fill the entirety of a larger 1.43x1 IMAX screen. However, it still fell short in resolution compared to IMAX film. Comparing IMAX screens to standard cinema screens is incredibly difficult. And that's because there are no standards. The sizes of the larger 1.43x1 IMAX screens are all different from location to location. And the same goes for the smaller 1.9 by 1 digital IMAX screens. Even standard screens are different from theater to theater. And going even further, they can be different within the same multiplex. Newer releases are shown on the larger screens, with older releases being relegated to the smaller screens. When it comes to deciding which is the best theater format to see a movie, you really have to do your research. This is because branding and marketing can often get in the way of reality. And when it comes down to it, there is a lot more to making a great film than a larger screen. A really well made low budget film shown at your local cinema can be a much better experience than the latest blockbuster at the multiplex. Thanks for watching.